Um, uh, this, this is the moment for me because uh, I feel like I did everything I could for the club uh, in four years. When, when I arrived, we were like a normal team at the ACB. And now everybody, not just in, in Spain, but in Europe, has respect for Gran Canaria. And I feel like We've done so many things with, with the club and I, I think it's, it's a good time to go because I'm still playing in a good level and I still have a lot of things to offer and I, I would like to take my, my family at, at home. A few things, my hair is different. <laughs> uh, I came here uh, alone uh, with my girlfriend and now we're married and we have a child. Uh, it's a big place for us, you know. And, over the years, we met a lot of people, a lot of friends. Um, it's home for us, so it's very sad to leave. But I feel personally like I, I grew up here and uh, went from you know, a young man to an adult. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm very lucky to play for these two coaches. Um, with Pedro, I, I learned a lot about intensity and defensive systems and like a lot of things with him. He taught, taught me a lot of things, and then when Aito came, it was, it was, an, it was another, another challenge. And what the knowledge I learned from these two great coaches, I'll, I'll be able to pass on to young players wherever I play now. Yeah, I mean, when I arrived here, I understood what, what, what the club was. We weren't one of the great teams like Barcelona, Madrid, Basconia, Malaga. We were Gran Canaria, and to, to achieve this it was amazing, man. And I, I, I really felt when this happened, the whole island got behind the team and, and since that moment the, every season we take more steps and to reach the semi-final okay it wasn't the final but it felt like we won the cup <laughs> and uh, you know after the game we thanked the fans and in the street uh, after it was, it was a great moment and these are memories that I'll never forget and um, it, was, it was great to, to spend it with this club. This, this season was, was really good we had very a very intense locker room. You know, we, we would come to work every day. And I remember in practice almost one time per week there there was a fight, and a lot of the times I was in the fights because it was just so competitive. And because of this, I I think is the reason why we had a lot of success on the court. Um, you know, unfortunately the playoff at the end we we didn't do so well, but you know we, we won a game home and uh, we had a chance to make the semi final, but we didn't. Um, yeah, this year was, was very good and uh, probably one of my the best moments for me was, was when my daughter was born in this season and um, I'll never forget that moment. Yeah, this, this was great because we, we showed all of Europe who we are, you know. Um, you know, Grand Canary had played in the Euro Cup a lot of years before but always did normal. And this year we said we put the team on the map and, and I think a lot of players now want to come and play here. It's a, it's a place to be. And, um, I was talking with Sasu yesterday and we both agree that now it's more than just a team now. It's a great club, a good atmosphere and, and people respect uh, Gran Canary. Uh, yeah, absolutely. This was, this was great because we, we were on the national stage and everyone in Spain, I think, watched the final. And it was great exposure for the island and uh, we, the, the people here got behind us and we were really proud. And, when we arrived back, we had people waiting, and uh, that's another great moment, the Copa del Rey. And, you know, we almost won, too. We just, it was one thing to make the final, but we actually competed and we had chances. And I think we surprised a lot of people with this, and our, our reputation of the club kept, kept on growing. No, I was, I was pretty proud of those moments. Um, uh, the, the first one, obviously, everybody knows the story now, and every year it changes a little bit more. <laughs> Instead of nine points, now it's ten points. You know, every year the story will grow, and that's one thing I'm looking forward to, to telling uh, Beth one day. Is you know, this is what happened when you were born. Maybe she's uh, your stupid dad, or you know, why, why you didn't stay with mum. But um, that was a great moment. And Curry Shaka was was amazing, man. The, the the environment we played in was incredible. Like the people yelling, and speeding, and throwing things, and the noise. And we, we just played like our normal game and we, 
in the end, they they clap for us. You, know, you remember when we left, the, left, and for me, that's a great moment because you weren't the respect of the opposition fans. And another great moment uh, for me was when when we uh, the playoff in my first year. It was like we were, nobody expected us to do anything, and we we had a, a big win. On, we beat Victoria on the Sunday, and uh, I, I hit a shot with maybe. Uh, 20 seconds to go, which kind of finished it. I'll, I'll remember that shot for a lot of time. First, because I was surprised because Ryan passed me the ball, <laughs> but uh, it was a good pass and, and I shot it. And you know that that group of guys was very close. You know we didn't have a big rotation, so everybody had to work really hard in their roles. And and you know now only me and Elvis survived that that four years, and you know it was a good moment. It's funny because yeah, I, I feel like I've, I've done everything I can here. Um, it would have been nice to win a title, but uh, I think our expect we did what we were expected to do, and um, even I think we exceeded a lot of expectations as well. And so I don't leave anything unturned here. I enjoyed my my time here. My my family loved the city and the island and this great uh, environment we have here. And you know, one day I maybe I'll come back and watch a game in, in the arena from. Uh, in the VIP. Oh, for sure. I mean, I, I lived here for four years, and um, I, I grew up a lot here with my wife, and we we turned, you know, what we thought maybe I'd be here for one year became four. So it's, there's a reason why I kept coming back because I love the place and I, I love the, the people here, the support we have, very a very home home like feel for us, and. Um, you know, we are so far, we are like 30 hours away, but for us it felt like a little part of Australia. Uh, muchos gracias todos. That, thank you everybody. Um, my journey here was amazing. I, I enjoyed every year, uh, every game, every moment, both in the seat and the arena. Uh, Thank you to all the people, the, the club, uh, the staff, um, everybody, anybody involved in Grand Canaria, the people. Uh, I love living here and uh, hope to see you again one day. And as I always say, let's go cracks. Vamos Branca. Thank you. Don't you